joint on the last shit. Live in the hills, but it still get a spread. Started with a layer, but it still reinvest it. Fear how I fear, then you feel less a blessing. I just want the lesson, I just want protection. I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression. Mama never plans if you brace for perfection. Aye, Finger to the down, hold it down, we gon' get it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got your watches coming in in July 14th, 2020, and the stock market is going to move like a giant biotech during earnings. Today was a wild day. We were up 475 on the Dow at one point and only closed up 10. S&P, NASDAQ closed red. NASDAQ, very, very red, 2%. So today was a very weird day on many levels, even the indexes and what was moving. But what helps explain that? Simply earnings season and the run-ups we've already saw coming into all of this. But now at the same time, you also had vaccine news today that really had the markets up. We were really, really up this morning and then all of a sudden a bunch of different news a lot of the news events we were looking at yesterday came up so we have a lot to talk about but i will say this is kind of natural we did a lot of plays i did move around a little bit uh we have we have a lot of cool things to talk about so i hope you guys are ready but you know what you need to do drop your thumbs up on the video make sure you're subscribed and if you don't know we are live monday through friday 30 minutes before open it's the first link in the description and it is pinned in the comments we better see you there in the morning it's free 99 it costs you nothing to join youtube.com slash the stock market you can post the plays, see the plays watch the watch list come to life and meet a bunch of people who like Tesla. And we love Tesla. There's nothing wrong with Tesla here. Uh, we all love it. Tesla Colt. We appreciate you guys. Please do not hurt us. On behalf of my Colt, uh, we humbly bow down to the Tesla Colt. Uh, so you guys, you know, we just are requesting passage to sell premium from time to time, maybe trade like a weekly put here and there because we are degenerates. But I, as many others in the cult, own Teslas and we respect your supreme leader, Elon, and we are requesting peace amongst the two. So we love you and you can meet a lot of people in the cult. So hopefully we see you there. <laughs> And the most important thing you need to do, post or watch this below. Let us know what you're looking at. Got any plays, comments, remixes, anything. Post them below and source that info. We need all of you. But right off the bat, the first thing I must say, this is not the crash. So a lot of people were asking that as the market was dropping, although this was kind of surprising. Again, there was a bunch of different reasons, again, ranging from the virus Literally every single thing we said potentially could have weight, all of it happened kind of at the same time. So today would have been probably a really, really bad day if there wasn't this fast track vaccine news with Pfizer and a few other vaccine candidates. I think uh, Myrna as well, too, or they did something. But I will say this isn't the crash. This is what we were talking about yesterday. This is somewhat part of earnings season. This is how these companies are going to move. Remember, the NASDAQ has dropped the most, but last week they had a killing. So I'm going to go over the plays that we made and we sold out very, very good. We took profits today it was the principal of taking making sure the cash balance and everything is steady but I'm bringing this up because we've had all of these earnings run-up plays in the last two weeks we've hit a lot of them so it's not like this came out of nowhere but it's been going up almost every single day on some of these individual companies that's why the Nasdaq took the biggest loss today and that's why we kind of saw what we saw here so I'm assuming this is part of earnings now I could be wrong and we did see surprising news again with what California did today uh, towards like kind of the end of the day Again, when you look at the market and kind of see how everything played out, we were really, really high. And then all of a sudden it just started dropping, even broke before, broke below the last Friday's close and just kept going. So it was a lot of information and things all at once. So we saw the news events come to life, but all in all, this isn't the crash. Now what we need to see is how tomorrow plays out. Tomorrow's a Tuesday. It's usually a strong day. Now if tomorrow's red all across the board and it's bad, that could tell us something. But then we also have the bonds and the bonds were kind of not really with it today. But then towards the end of the day, it kind of reflected what the market did. So if anything here though, we have to see earnings or we need now some of the stuff that happened today that needs to get worse. And now a lot of different things happen today. So the things I'm really focusing on here 
here is California. They are doing the rollbacks, closing gyms, indoor restaurants, uh, and also protests too. So that only applies to indoor protests. So I will even enforce that. If any of you are protesting inside, I will be very disappointed and I will report you. So do not protest indoors, uh, but you can't have any of those activities. This is pretty big. This is the biggest rollback so far to date by a state. So president might not like that considering what he's been saying, but this is saying something, but I don't think this is going to be like the thing that makes everybody panic. However, whatever happens here in the next week or two and how California sets the precedent and we see what happens with Florida, Arizona, New York, all those bigger places, then that will tell us a lot. But that was important. What happened with China was important, but I'll finish with that last because there was a few other things. There was stuff with like Fauci. He said, this is pretty much going to, he said, we're going to look back at this 50 years from now and COVID is going to be like the span flu. There was talks about the schools in certain like counties. And I think even New York said they don't want to open the schools or they don't want to do so till it's safe. Then this morning, it killed some of our plays, but the market really didn't care about it in the morning. But Hong Kong, they had some rollbacks. They're closing restaurants and gyms, but then they also closed down Disneyland in Hong Kong. And there was all those little headlines. But now the main thing was the issues with China. We talked about that yesterday. We said over the weekend, there was a lot of negative rhetoric towards China and the, the tensions were heating up. But we saw something today that was very interesting, and it was the South China Sea escalation. So we made a statement today that they're like pretty much that China has encroached upon the sea and that it, this isn't a direct quote, but it labeled China a threat in the South China Sea. Now, why this is important, because we haven't made a real official statement like that since the Obama administration and it was pretty much direct opposite of the statement we issued today. So that signals some escalating tensions. And like I'm saying here on the keys, it, in the historic context, it's important. But now watch the yuan and that'll tell us really how serious everything is. But now also too, U.S. and China markets have moved a lot. So if you're going to be watching the yuan to see if it is like a good indicator to tell you, OK, tensions are heating up markets could move a lot more before the yuan because they've kind of diverged a little bit wider. So just keep that in mind. But the rollbacks, the China stuff, I think this is the most important. We saw a little bit uh, oil stuff out there, but keep that in mind. But now mixing this into earnings. So by tomorrow, even maybe by Wednesday, Thursday, I'm probably thinking Thursday or end of the week, because even then tomorrow could be bad, but we'll see why it's bad, but we'll find out the earnings impact. Pretty much the market could really just bounce up here. This could kind of be some of the letting off steam, giving some of the run-up we've had. So watch out for that, not jumping to any conclusions too quickly. Again, I did make some moves. The thing that did surprise me most was the Cali thing, but all I had to do was pretty much ride the wave. So that's what we're going to talk about in the plays, because I did switch directions. Although I don't think the crash is here. I did trim exposure because we had a lot of upside exposure because we hit everything on the way up. So keep that in mind. But that is pretty much it. So let us now prepare for the plays. So right off the bat, the main thing that we need to talk about before the plays, I mean, I will tell you, here is probably what you want. Three stocks to short that I shorted today by grabbing puts. Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, and I got them as potential Grim Reapers just because they are the biggest market caps and they are tech and they are at their all-time highs. So don't forget, if you don't know what the Grim Reaper is, it is a negative earning surprise that really just claps a company. And now I have a video on this, but the key to note about the Grim Reaper is that it is talking about bigger market cap companies. It's saying a large single day market clap Oh, well, ironically, cap, not clap, but when the market cap gets clapped in a single day, but a large amount. So that's why I got Microsoft, Apple, and Facebook. Go over the exact plays, but those are the three ones I'm getting. I want to look out for some other ones. I have some ideas in mind, the travel stocks, but I want to see again how tomorrow plays out because we need to determine is the market reacting to the virus? Is it reacting to the China stuff? Or is this simply some of the earnings move that naturally would happen? And I'm leaning towards more natural earnings move. So as far as the main thing with the plays moving forward, I really want, you know, if you guys haven't been following on these watch lists, you're not on the live stream, you have to really understand what we're doing here in these plays. But 
the biggest thing to follow along with is control the balance that saved us today. I'll show you why. I sold out of a lot of things, even though we were holding them and I want to hold them, but we've been holding them for a while. But it's like, why? What gave us the signal? You got to realize this earnings season, this earnings run up, it came quickly, literally at the snap of a fingers. We've talked about that. We saw it happen. But now at the same time, it left just as fast. We literally saw some of those plays like Disney. We've been talking about it since last week. It's moved up a lot. Those are break even now, I think, just after today's move. And they were even up even more in the morning. But the idea here is to follow the principles and not necessarily the rules with these plays. So we'll go over the plays. You can even see there on the keys. I got some McDonald's as well. We got a few different plays. But the number one thing I did here from the morning... Well, I guess within three months, the first thing I did was buy. So we talked about this yesterday. This was the call I played on McDonald's. Again, rotation-wise, then with earnings and kind of how it was looking, I grabbed 30 of these August 220s at 21 cents. So it was like 600 bucks for 30 of them. But then around 1038 here, so right here in the morning, I sold some of those August Walmarts. Now, remember, I said I didn't want to sell these. We bought these at $14 a pop. I bought 10 of them. I said, don't let me sell them. But now... What triggered me selling within an hour after market? You know, you could see right here, Walmart is up. Let's go back to the spy. You know, 1038, the market's killing it. And then even throughout the day, it just keeps on killing it. So market's doing good. What again could have triggered me to do this? We bring up the portfolio. So this is what happened today. Again, even so far, I realized about $3,500 in profits here, but the net account value is at 16,700. But now here's my cash balance. This is the main thing we talk about on stream. This is the main thing. Again, even moving forward with the plays, there's a reason why why I'm even showing you this now. It saved us a lot of money. A lot of people said, what is the play? What is the play? The market starts going down. You don't know if it's for a reason. You don't know if it's because of earnings. The question is, what is the play? The play was the sell. So this is what I mean. The principle, every single one of you will make different trades. Every single one of you has different risk tolerance. Again, I'm documenting what I'm doing. This is not a recommendation. So the principle that I follow is making sure my cash balance is something I'm okay with having and realizing that your net account value the, of your market event, whatever you want to call it, it's not real if it's all options. Pretty much your cash balance is the real value. So anytime I start to see my balance go high or my cash gets really low, I like to trim positions. So a lot of these positions I wanted to hold, these Walmarts, we we're up a thousand percent on them. I'm still holding five of them at $1.33. So you can see that was like a 500, almost $700 difference from when I sold them. But I bought these at 14 cents, not bad, but it just went up a ton from the day before. You see, I lost 12 bucks on it. That means it's 12 bucks from Friday. This today, I was up a lot on it. So what is what started to happen with all these plays that I wanted to hold in the video, Walmart, W's, even that McDonald's I bought, even Facebook calls, I started having all these plays, but then by the morning, it was really, really bullish. What started to go against me? Nothing. Everything was working in my favor. And it was like, well, I keep winning. We've been riding all of these out. But then now I was like, well, I only had like $2,000, $3,000 in the account, but my account was up at like 18000 or something like that today, 18, 19000 So I said, I was like, well, I just need to start taking profits. So that's what started this. So I sold out half of the Walmarts at 211. I sold two out of the three of the Wayfarers that we bought last week at $1.37. We bought those at 50. So I'm still holding one left and they're actually worth more now. And I sold the rest of the NVIDIAs or I sold five of them. I sold five at $1.92, but then I think towards the end of the day, you see they started to drop. I only bought them at 60 cents. I sold the rest at $1.22, so I got rid of the NVIDIAs. I wanted to hold them. So you can see it's all 1042 markets around this area. More time goes by. 1045, I sell those January Walmarts because remember I bought five on this count for a dollar and I had the ones on the Tasty Works, but then I sold those five for a 100% gain again. 200 bucks a pop, five of them, that's a thousand bucks. So you can see here, another five contracts, 200 bucks, that's $2,000 in just cash now. So then my, ca my cash balance is going up. That is the reason why I did it. That's the principle. Then everything was going high again, 11.57 at this point. We're up pretty high at the market. So I'm like, well, those McDonald's even I bought, I bought 30 of them this morning at 21 cents. They've almost tripled. So I was like, well, I could get all my money back, sold 15 of them. So I'm still holding those now for free, but I got my cash, increased the cash. And then I, I kept looking by 12.01, market's still high. So I'm like, well, these Facebook calls, 
I'm not really down with them. I already had some in the Tasty Works. I already had 700 bucks. So I was like, well, five more around 200 bucks. Now they're like 700 bucks. Sold those. And then I had Myrna's come out of the grave. So I was like, well, I'm going to sell all those. Those were graveyards. I have that August Myrna that we had. I had an old BDX, another 100 bucks. So I started taking all the profits. And then when the market started to really drop here, so this is 2.02 p.m. now. So right when the news started coming out, Markets started reacting. It was like first like China sanctions, but then it was just like Pompeo and then more of the China C news and all that stuff. Then I grabbed 10 of the Apple puts for August. Like 15 minutes later, I grabbed puts on Facebook. I think I got five of these September 150 puts and then I sold the rest of those NVIDIAs and then I got 10 September 145 puts on Microsoft. So those were the three plays we talked about, but you can see there, I did a lot of selling, but now I'm not even done. We also did some on Tasty. So you could watch this. Uh, I discussed it too, and I'm in an interesting scenario because I am actually closing uh, out of this account. I'm no longer going to be trading with this Tasty or at least executing on them. We talked about it a little bit on stream and kind of the experience I had last week. I have uh, some strategies I want to be doing and it's just not going to really work for me. So I need to transfer out of this account. So that's why I sold some shares that I'm going to be buying. We're going to switch this over to a TD account. But even then, this is what I talked about yesterday with the strategy. We want to make the earnings plays free. So I got those puts towards the end of the day. Those are Grim Reaper plays. You saw I took a lot of profit and by selling a lot of things at the highs, I saved a lot of money. It was a big, big swing. But now the next thing I did, even on this account, this is what I said. We It's all about riding the wave and that is talking about the earnings. So Throughout all of these, we bought these Walmarts. We're getting the pre-earnings run up. So what I said yesterday, I want to try to make them free. The market's giving up. And really, pretty much when you see a contract go up 120% the day, and then the market gets a little bit volatile, you kind of how the market moved. There's really three critical points. It's one, we were at a high, then the market starts dropping. Then it broke and came back to where you open from the gap up, but now we gapped up. So this is where we open, but then this is the previous close and then it broke that. And then now we even close lower. You can see those three different levels. So you've probably seen that with contracts. You usually go up a lot and then, well, once it starts losing momentum, it gets cut in half. So now your 100% goes to 50%. Then your 50% goes to like 30% break even. And then after that, you're clapped, but then it's hard for it to get back up there. So this is the idea, especially when there has been a lot of earnings hype in these earnings run up, you sell these coming into it or we try to make them free. So that's what I did. I decided I wanted to hold these. We had 50 of these Walmarts. I wanted to hold them, but I ended up selling them. I sold them out at 118. I pretty much made it free, got like my $3,000 back. That's why I had to sell 30, have 20 of these contracts for free. Ended up selling 70 of the 100 Disneys because they were only up like 20, 30%. So I said, okay, there's a little bit of profit. Try to get most of the money back. Closed out of my A nets on the call side. We had 20 of those. We made that free. So sold that one in the morning during the hype. But as things were going down, I just decided I was going to take profits on these, made them free. I already got rid of the NVIDIA, trimmed back some of the Walmart. So my account balance stayed relatively even the same, and uh, I even withdrew money out of this today, so we're changing things around, but holding everything else, but the thing is now, you see we have this Twitter play, so the idea is I still have thousands of dollars in calls. We just took the profits and made them free now, but there's still $1,500 in Walmart, still got $550 on Anet. I right, come up here, $1,500 through Facebook calls, $900 still on Disney. So, and again, you can see they've held r roughly their value. So these are re re relatively new plays. So it's not like I'm not getting exposure and I still got one of a little bit. We still got some of those Walmarts as well on August. So the idea is making them free, getting exposure, but then I also have balancing stuff towards the downside and then some of the plays we got. Hopefully you guys see managing these plays, managing the cash balance is important. And that is the key. And that is the principle. And again, this is the strategy to playing earnings to give us opportunity to stay flexible, nimble, and have opportunity to get these gains. We've had really, really good weeks and we really did capitalize. We rode the wave all the way up. And then as it was starting to crumble down, we got off, but we're still in the game because we still don't know what's going to happen. And our hand is in the cookie jar. So I'll give you an analogy to understand even the cash balance thing. It is like depth. The deeper you go, you're a scuba diver. The deeper you go, the higher your account balance goes, your cash is your oxygen level. So if that ba balance goes higher and higher and higher, you go lower and lower into the ocean, but now your oxygen level drops, that is very, very dangerous. So the deeper you go, 
Make sure you have oxygen, my friend. So there was that. I'm still in the Tesla play. Here's the one I shorted. I was down $5,000 this morning. Tesla came back. I'm only down 70. So I'm still going to be riding that one out. Still has four days left. We'll see what happens. God bless you, Tesla people. We love you still. I just want the premium. Nothing against Tesla. I'm going to go drive my Tesla after this and I'm going to post it just for you guys. It's all love, baby. It's all love. Don't hurt me. But there is that. And then I guess finally the last play is uh, BSGM. Uh, I grabbed this one. I still have some other stocks to go over, but I grabbed 200 shares of these today or 300, I believe. It's going to be just like the Vaxart. So you guys will see here. We got Vaxart at 925. They ripped today. I think they're also going to go crazy tomorrow. The volume and everything looks good, but we got BSGM 300 shares. I got them at 774. So I'm down 5% on them but I'm going to play this exactly like the VXRT play. So it's a biotech vaccine play. It's just like the other ones. There's no difference. I treat them all the same. So what am I doing? I'm just buying them shares, holding them. I want to ride out this whole vaccine biotech gold rush. And again, that's how the market is even reacting. Even what you guys saw today, the title of this video, it looks like the days where there's good vaccine news, it pops and then sells off like a biotech. So that's even how we're playing them. That's how VXRT worked and everything. This one didn't have a big pump and dump history. It's fairly new. They were just a crappy company, but now they're getting in the vaccine space, or at least they got some studies in it. They got a small float. It's an oral vaccine, so it's not as good. That's the same type of vaccine VXRT has, so it did decent, but going to be holding those, and we're going to hold them exactly the same way as the VXRT. But besides that, there's Tesla nvidia we sold out facebook apple again these are the ones to watch the mcdonald's uh i'd watch aal and expedia again these are the ones i think could kind of surprise it if the rollbacks uh, again california was surprising today that can have an effect and that could do stuff so watch them disney i want to get back into it i like it i want to see but that hong kong news hit it but they did get upgraded today analysts said the same thing we've been saying that a lot of people on wall street is underestimating their uh their streaming uh, performance or, or the subscribers. So watch Disney again, watch IWM. We have those JPM uh, for earnings. Uh, I don't know. I, I was looking at some of the plays, but they were a little bit expensive. So I didn't get it. BSGM, like we said, again, Vaxart, watch them tomorrow. I'm still going to be holding it again. You guys saw got in at like 920. Uh, I just used like my secret technical to get it in here. Uh, and then we were able to snipe it right at the bottom. Um, and that's why. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we've been holding it. So we were taking a big loss on this the whole time, but We've held through it, and I'm just going to be riding that for a long time. Somebody said when I'm going to sell. If anything, I'm going to sell covered calls on it, but I'm going to wait for it to really blow up because there's going to be six months of this back and forth, pop and drop and all that. But watch them and then watch TLT, but also watch Myrna. They did good. Remember, we got that one call last week for 2 bucks the 90 for August. So that one's looking really good. I'm going to be riding that one out. I really like it. And then like we said, TLT, watch them if they start to break out, but they haven't yet, but watch out for a little bit of wiggle room, but just take note with how far and how much bonds move relative to the U S markets and major indexes. But that is pretty much it. The plays and principles will be important. Do not get pump faked, control the balance. Like we said, and you will be good. But that is your watch list, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you're healthy, ready to go. Make sure you post your watch list. Make sure we see you there in the morning. I need the armor on. I need the helmet shining. I need you to press on the gas, baby. You got the skill. You got the plays, but you're not executing on the gas. Just take it. Don't be afraid. You're going to be in this game for a long time, baby. Don't judge and remember if you think you have nothing. No, anything times zero is zero. You cannot multiply if you think you have nothing, baby. But the cult loves you. I love you. I'm going to see you in the morning. Let's go. <laughs>